343 addresses the season one challenge paid progression system issue. And Joseph Staten provides some interesting insights about what's coming for season two and the future for Halo Infinite, like the yapping returning, some forge map details, as well as something big that they haven't announced yet. But if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So if you guys don't know, there's currently an issue going on with the Season 1 Battle Pass, the paid version, by the way, of the Battle Pass, where if you bought Season 1's Battle Pass, but you haven't bought Season 2 yet, you normally, what happens, you get a fourth challenge slot if you buy into the Battle Pass. Well, right now with Season 1, if you want to go back to unlock things, you only have three tiers for whatever reason, if you bought into it, even. Community manager Unishek hit up Twitter to respond to this, saying that the team has seen the feedback regarding the availability of the fourth challenge slot in Halo Infinite. We're working to address it for purchases of each premium battle pass. He also continues on saying that when we do address it in game, we will also provide a make good as a thank you for helping us improve this part of Halo Infinite's experience. As always, keep the feedback coming. So it looks like we might get some free stuff out of this, which would be pretty nice. Most likely like, you know, more challenge swaps and XP boosts like we had previously with like the challenges changes that are coming in with the week two of season two. Which if you guys don't know, if you complete an event challenge in week two of the second week, you'll actually complete two tiers of the pass rather than just one. We covered this in a previous video. So if you didn't know about that, you better subscribe to the channel because we keep you up to date. But now, on to the juicy stuff of this video guys joseph steen recently did an interview with kind of funny x podcast where he kind of talks about season two and the current status of halo infinite developing for it and what's coming with the future and just a general discussion about halo and he brings up some very interesting tidbits of information stuff that we haven't known yet some more details on forge as well as some hints of something bigger coming down the line. This first clip here is a clip of Justice Day and talking about the content they have coming out throughout the months right here, responding to a question from one of the casters here, talking about like, well, what you got what do you got going for us for the next six months worth of content? And he talks about this and provides that looks like the Yappening will be returning to Halo Infinite. And then we've got this more fun event, the Yappening in the middle of the season that's a little bit more wacky and and we got some other stuff coming coming too. So and then of course campaign co-op Forge beta also happening in season two. So there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff. So you can see what I'm talking about here. The Yappening is returning to Halo Infinite. If you guys don't remember the Yappening, it was an event that happened with the Master Chief Collection, which provided just like a bunch of crazy, wacky game modes. This one I'm looking at right here is probably one of my favorites, which was Brute Shoot, which is a version of the Brute Shot, which had just like incredible physics tied to it. Played on elongation, so you had like the boxes flying all around the, around the map. It was kind of breaking the game, but like in a really fun way. So you might be seeing something very similar with Halo Infinite, just bringing back that social, wacky aspect of it, where maybe tuning some aspects of Halo Infinite where you can't really do that in custom games and maybe like a developer made type of wacky custom game like we had right here with like Brute Shoot and all the other various game modes. It will definitely be a week of fun Halo to play. You're definitely going to want to check it out when it comes around. And of course the event pass for the happening was leaked out on Twitter. Well actually today which is kind of funny. You can kind of see some of the wacky stuff going on. There's a lot of slipping going on which makes me think there might be some kind of like low friction kind of game mode coming in right here. As you can so you have the slippery wind wet uh, emblem right here you also have like the banana peel emblem which kind of known for people slipping on as kind of like a joke thing we also have these quill hawk kind of like a put together tinfoil looking kind of mohawk kind of thing and also the uh, entropy of spring kind of like weird kind of funky explosion kind of death effect right there so we got some interesting things coming with the yappening certainly it will turn the fun up to 10 i'm sure when it comes to halo infinite and as soon as we get some more details you know i'll be sharing with you guys here on the channel now i know with the release of season two i'm sure a lot of us have been up late hours playing a lot of games and stuff like that especially last barn standing which has been awesome and i'm sure you've probably been going like man i need a way to get energized and a nice pick me up well check out Glitch Energy. I've recently partnered up with Glitch Energy and it's some pretty awesome stuff. Just throw it in some water. You got some nice energy drinks, which like doesn't cause any kind of crashes or anything like that. And it tastes great. Plus it's sugar free, which is a big plus for me. We also have a ton of extra products on their website. If you guys want to check it out, link in the pinned comment down below. They even have a starter pack that comes with a shaker and some samples to kind of test out what you actually like. And it's at a very fair price. If you want to pick something up, make sure you use your code Kevin Coolex for 25% off your purchase of some Glitch Energy. Thank you Glitch for being a sponsor to the channel. And let's get right back into the content here. 
Joseph Satan also talks a little bit about Forge and how the difference between the visual fidelity of like a developer made map and a Forge made map has shrunk even more when it comes to the disp disparity between the two. And I want to take it for Joe's word here. Take a quick listen. He narrowed that, that delta in terms of visual fidelity and a couple of the Forge maps uh, that we're looking at right now that are made, made by our team. Um, I mean, they look, they look really, 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 really good. So I think that's exciting too, like in terms of quality presentation and just what people are going to be able to do. You can see what I'm talking about. They have maps made ready to go when Forge finally gets its, either its beta launch or its actual launch when it comes to season three. So there will be some developer made maps tied to it, which I feel like has something hinted towards what Joseph Staten talks about later in this interview. One question here from Pierce right down here talks about how there's so many great maps in Halo, right? And you have them all kind of in a vault somewhere and that could be possibly brought into Halo Infinite, right? Why not do that while you guys are kind of slow on developing new content, bringing some of that old content in to kind of, you know, keep people happy and uh, playing the game. And Joe's response to this is quite interesting. Uh, the common, I think, misconception, and maybe you can clear this up, is why don't you just bring back the, the maps from the old games and put them into Halo Infinite? And that could kind of be a buffer while we have this extended season. Can you kind of explain why you can or cannot do that with just a, the flip Look of his the response on this. That's a good idea, Paris. <laughs> oh. I mean, all, all, all kidding aside, like, yeah. uh, I... I can talk about some things, but I can't talk about other things. Right. Like, that was how you paused right there. You're just like, what can I say in this situation? When you're talking about old maps coming back to Halo Infinite. Now, I do know that within a developer blog that they talked about, like they didn't want to do like remakes, right? They didn't want to just bring back straight maps from previous games into Halo Infinite. They wanted to kind of take that as like more of an inspirational point and kind of create their own thing. Well, I think this kind of ties it into Forge a little bit and take note of the maps that he mentions when it comes to some of the classics within Halo. There are some great Halo maps. Um, I think we all have our personal favorite. Guardian, Gulch, Pit. Like, there are a lot of maps that are awesome, right? I think it'd be awesome to play on those maps again. Don't, don't you guys? Like, that sounds like a fun thing. I, I, I think of it. How inviting does that sound? I mean, Joe, come on. You know that, like... I mean, I mean, they're talking about there's already developer-made maps in Forge coming in. And so I have a feeling that once Forge launches, we might be getting some classic maps coming back in the Halo Infinite, like... But he mentioned the pit, Guardian, Blood Gulch. I mean, that would be a great way to start off Forge and get people excited about playing Halo again. It would be a fantastic yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll mark that in my. Yeah. I'll mark that in my oh, little, I'm taking full credit for it if, if it happens. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see what I'm talking about here. That like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that once Forge launches, guys, we're gonna get some pretty awesome content tied along with it as well. It's not just gonna be like forge tools and just wait a few months when the actual content comes to us for players to actually play around with day one i think we're gonna be getting some good stuff to play around with possibly even like a classic playlist returning now that would be freaking awesome they did that previously within halo 5 why not again in halo infinite but of course there's a lot of things that they did in halo 5 that didn't come over to halo infinite so you know it's all just kind of speculation at this point but i just feel like joe was so candid with his response right here and the, that pause that he made to kind of think like what can i actually say here without like hinting towards something without giving the, the playbook away i have a feeling we're gonna get some classic maps with forge coming back here and that's gonna be awesome this next part here i think showcases that 343 still has a little bit of an ace up their sleeve when it comes to content coming out this year in Halo Infinite. We don't know everything that's going to be coming out, maybe even within the next six months. Uh, we, we've just learned about the yapping that's going to be coming in. I wasn't in the roadmap at all. And so we're going to be getting some cool stuff coming throughout the year. But this right here really sparked my interest of what Joe had to say. I think this might be tied to maybe some kind of reveal, maybe in the, the E3 time zone. Let's just, let's just watch, let's, let's listen to Joe, listen to Joe. Games is, is tricky, you know, running service games is challenging, especially when we're not only trying to run our free to play game, but standing up Forge and campaign co-op and some other things that we're working on. Um, that pause again, like he's like, some other things we're working on, like, <laughs> Dude, like that is a huge hint that like there is something big that 343 is currently working on right now that they just cannot talk about right now. And I don't think that's tied to whatever content's coming with Forge. I think what he was kind of saying sounds like something completely different, which I know probably my first thought, and I'm sure everyone else's thought who's watching this video is thinking of the Battle Royale Jez Corden leak, guys, which 
but certain, certain Infinity sounds to be kind of taking the reins when it comes to do the development of the Battle Royale, which would make sense. I mean, he did say that it's looking to come out maybe like at season three, season four time frame, which I mean, he th kind of thought it'd be about maybe like a year away or so. Maybe like with season three's release, which is essentially like a year, which is actually just about a year after the release of Halo Infinite, we could see like a big content drop of a Battle Royale happening which would be really awesome, tied with some of those new sandbox elements that I was talking about within the roadmap as well. Obviously, it could be a lot of other different things. It could be campaign DLC. I doubt that though, because I think for, I feel like how far behind the ball 343 is when it comes to the development of Halo Infinite, that campaign DLC is probably at least two years away from right now. So we got some time to wait until that actually happens. If it's campaign DLC, that'd be amazing too. I just... I feel like he was talking about that battle royale when he made that pause of like secret things behind closed doors that they can't quite mention yet, which I'm pretty sure we'll hear about when it comes to the E3 time you know, in June. I'm sure we'll hear an announcement about it, which I guarantee you guys, I will cover that on the channel in depth if we get any kind of big announcement when it comes to Halo Infinite. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. But if you're new to this channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.